Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to UHC Season 3. Minecraft Ultra Hardcore is a game mode originally created by Good and the group Minecraft. As always, we have some of your favorites returning this season and a bunch of new participants as well. We have a total of 24 competitors and we are returning to solo with an added twist of perpetual day for the entire match. These UHC events are recorded all in one sitting, so don't worry about oh. cheating by telling your favorite YouTuber what other people are up to in an episode. <laughs> we are using a custom plugin coded just for this event by the team at Mindplex and Grazer. We'll tell you a little bit about it, and we'll get started. All right, so first I'm going to go over how UHC works. UHC is a game mode where your health does not regenerate naturally. The only way to regenerate health is by eating a golden apple and or by drinking a health potion, which can be obtained through travel to the nether. All players will be spawned 200 blocks away from each other, and the last remaining player is deemed the victor. Mineplex is back at it again. They'll be hosting the server for UHC Season 3. You can play their games at mineplex.com. We've also ironed out some of the bugs that were faced last season in order to guarantee a nice, smooth playing experience for everyone. As there are 24 players rolling solo, that means there are 24 different spawns across the map. We've enlarged it to 2,500 by 2,500 instead of the normal 2,000 by 2,000. And because it is perpetual day, caves will be of enhanced difficulty as all mob spawns will be occupied underground throughout the duration of the season. Rules! PvP will, dis be, dis <laughs> PvP will be disabled for the first 20 minutes. There will not be strip mining tolerated, no enhanced gamma, no mods are permitted other than Optifine. And if you die, you must leave the server after saying goodbye to your viewers and good game to the remaining participants. Oh, one thing I forgot. If you kill someone, you will receive a head. This golden head will reheal four hearts in, rather than two that a normal apple would do. And we've nerfed it since last season so that you only get two absorption hearts rather than four. And I think that's everything, right, I think? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. You eat good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Right then, let's go. Let's go. Let's play some UHC. So, if you don't know about this, this is um what we said in the intro, basically. If you didn't really hear, and oh my god, oh my god, I've got I've got a decent spawn. I've got feathers. I've got I've got feathers and I've also got a village in the distance. So what happens with UHC if you didn't hear in the intro is that you don't regenerate hearts So stuff like falling down um, is really bad and that's something I do a lot So you need to be careful of that. You need to be careful of so much stuff If you get um, shot you won't be able to regen health when you've got hunger. It's a very different game mode um, It's very fun as well. So let's just reduce the amount of sprint We're doing actually it shouldn't matter too much because hunger is not as important as long as you're not starving and we've definitely got some food. So, so what we're going to do is gather these because we need some arrows. And wow, there's a lot of chickens here. That's a good start. So let's get the feathers so we can get arrows later on. And yeah, basically we're doing this non-stop. So we've got 24 people. As you can see, 24 people. Someone's already lost past a heart. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're doing this um, all the way through from start to finish and see who has a win at the end. So if you die, you're just kicked out and last man standing will win. So let's get to this. We need to start strong. And I think we have. We've already got feathers. We've already got a... I, we've already got a village. What the hell? So for those of you that don't um, really watch survival that much, this will be completely uncut. And wow. Oh my god, that was close. Um, yeah, this will be completely uncut, so it might be a little bit boring for those of you just like action and stuff. But hey, it's still going to be an experience, and wow, there's so much stuff around here. Oh my god, I got the best spawn ever, I think. And there's something underneath here, too. How we... Oh god, I need to be very careful with this, because if I fall, it's not going to be good. Um, wait, 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 where's... I, I need to get through here. Right, let's see if there's anything in this village. We've got wheat, at least, which is going to be awesome. And no, you haven't got anything for me. <laughs> you haven't got anything for me. Oh my god. Right, let's try over here. Um, oh no. Let me just build a cross. Right then, so we have lots of these foodies here. I'm probably breaking ones that don't even need to be broken. But here we go. We've got 15 potatoes. We're going to have some nice wheats as well. And I think I'm going to stay underground for most of it. Another thing as well that I mentioned at the beginning is that this is... 
um, always day, so it is always going to be day, and um, yeah, you pretty much just, the only way to regain health is you either drink a regen potion or you make yourself some golden apples, and golden apples of, um, uh, are pretty much the most important thing if you're going down underground, so yeah. It's, it's a really, really strange game mode for some people because you're just like, oh, I'll regen some health. But you've got to be very careful at all points. Oh my god, we've got so much food. Oh my god, this is amazing. An actual village nearby. <laughs> I should really be finding, um, what should I be finding? I need wood, I need tools, but really I'm just going to ramsack this village first. And yeah, the PvP is disabled for 15 minutes if you saw that correctly. So I need to get going. I need to stop all of this because I need some weapons. I need some weapons. Um, right, uh, let's go around here. Um, let's try and find some. I keep forgetting that we're not cutting this because usually I um, usually I took. Oh god, there's a person here. No way. No way is there a person here already. We were only spawned like 200 blocks away. I'm glad I took all that food already. There's a crafting table. I'm gonna take that bad boy. There's really a person here already. They're gonna be ransacking this village. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. No, no, no. Right, let's, let's go in here. There's no chests here, though. Literally none. So I'm probably going to get going in a sec because I don't want to be near this guy. There's no blacksmith, which is unfortunate. But let's uh, kind of make ourselves scarce because I do not want to be near someone. When PvP is going to be enabled and we just need to get going. So we need to find some trees. I'm going to go over here. Wow, I cannot believe that. I thought I was onto a winner then and then he just kind of rolls up and he's like, Yow! Yo, I, I found this village too, bro. So we were only like 200 blocks away, which... No! Oh, why did I do that? That was so dumb. See? <laughs> Things like that are just so, so stupid. So let's grab some wood. Let's start this properly. We've already got a decent amount of supplies, which is sweet. But we need to get going on the essentials. So, as you can see, dumb things like that are gonna get me killed. I'm not 100% used to playing UHC. I've played it a few times on servers and stuff. But other than that, it's very new to me. And stuff like that is probably gonna be the death of me in the end. So, I'm gonna collect a nice decent amount of wood and then start digging under. I wanna kinda live underground, but I'm very aware that that guy is near me. And that could be the death of me if he gets some good stuff before me. Oh god. Basically... We need to get some wooden tools, and then what we need to do is get some coal so we can get some torches and then start exploring some caves. Now, the thing I... Th the mobs are really strong now. Because of 1.6, zombies are incredibly strong. Like, ridiculously strong. Because they will spawn other zombies near you, and baby zombies really are horrible in UHC. So let's grab these, and we should be good now. Just carry on getting these. There we go. What's happening with my sticks? Don't do this to me. Right, it looks like there's something down here, but I'm not sure. Let's just have a look. Uh, oh my god, there's iron here. Right, it looks it looks good. So we're going to kind of set up camp here for now. Let's just face this way. And I'm very wary that that guy was near me. I can't believe it. Already. We can grab some stone. Just get some stone stuff just in case. But I need to look out for mobs. Because <laughs> if something creeps up on you and you don't know, you will lose hearts. You will panic. Or I will panic anyway. And it will all be over. It'll be over very quickly, and as soon as you're out, you are out. That chicken is nicely watching me, little punk. Don't you be doing any cr anything crafty, little chicken. All right, let's do this. We've got something to protect ourselves. We've got something to um, get our stone... No, our stone, our iron with. And let's go. Come on, let's do this. Right. Um, I'm very wary that I need coal very badly. I need some coal desperately. Let's grab this. We have this iron, but we need coal. I'm surprised I found iron before coal, to be honest. That's pretty good. A nice chunk as well. This is a big space. A very big space. Let's pick this up and see what we can do. If there's anything around here, I am running. Need to make sure that I have a getaway place. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah, I've got a way to get out if I see something. We've got 10 minutes. This is looking okay. I swear I saw something through there. Um, this is very dangerous, but I definitely need some coal. There's some more iron over there. Show me some coal, please. Oh, there's another guy over there. That's that guy again. I need to get out of this place quickly, I think, because that guy is going to destroy me. Um, oh god, all I need is some coal and then I'm good. Just need some coal. Give me some coal, bros. There's none in the ceiling. There's mobs potentially around and oh no. 
basically I need some kind of I need a helpline. I need a helpline right now. It's tense. It's tense. It's very very tense. Already and I've I've just got nothing. Oh my god. If I just come across one piece of coal, I'll just be able to do it. But I think what I'm going to do instead is just make a furnace because I just need some torches and I can get going just out of here. So have I got enough? Yeah, I've got enough for that. So let's just quickly do this. Oh, da, da, da. I am very wary that I'm in a hole and that guy, I need to keep an eye on him. I definitely do. What can I burn with this? I could cook potatoes. Yes, I can cook potatoes. So let's do that and create some... Oh no, I'm doing it the wrong way around. No, 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 no. I need to cook this, but how can I do that? I completely forgot. Do you need logs? Right, let's go and get some logs. Oh god. Right, I'm messing this up royally right now. I can leave the, the crafting table there. I just need some logs. And then I can get something going here. Um, see, this is where all the skills of survival really come in, and I don't really have that many. That wasn't a very nice lag splag there, was it? Is there a crafting table there? There's another guy here, isn't there? Yeah, he's still here. We're gonna have it out, I think. <laughs> very soon. This is gonna suck. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's get some furnacing going. All I need is just at least one piece of coal, and then I'm good. Usually it doesn't matter whether you um, put all that stuff in or not. As in um, making all of your logs into planks. But apparently it does now. Because I needed it really badly. Right, I've got some torches so that's good. I can light this place up. And start digging down and finding some coal. Rather than going to burn some trees. Right, let's pick these up. And we need to stay safe now. That guy is going to come for us as soon as we get going. And I've already lost one heart so I've got a disadvantage. Oh, let's put this down here and grab some of this. I'm not really sure on like spawning rules either, as in I'm not sure where coal spawns the majority. So I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> Why am I doing this, by the way? <laughs> I'm just so bad. Come on, get out of the water. We're wasting time. We haven't got long at all. I just need to get uh, this as well. And there's no coal. I can grab this as well. What is that guy still up there? I'm worried. I'm worried, guys. Right, let's knock this out so it doesn't look like we're down here. And carry on. Carry on going. If there's mobs around here, I will be absolutely done. Right, let's make this safe, shall we? Let's put some... Let's just put some stone around so I can just block this off. Come on. Place it. Place it. Place it. There we go, there we go. No, no. Oh my god, it's it's lagging a little bit, which isn't fair. Okay, here we go. Right, I need to find some coal now and avoid anything that wants to destroy me. Oh no. Ugh. This is scary. This is very scary. Let's see if I can go around this corner. I need something to block up the holes if something comes through, so I'm going to use this wood. That's the stick. Is there really no coal in here? That's so that's so bad. There's iron everywhere though. Come on. Oh god, there's there's iron literally everywhere down here. That's beautiful. Is this guy still gonna be following me? I don't Oh he is. He is around here. Right, I'm gonna have to smelt some I have to smelt some iron just because and do it quick. Let's put that in there, let's put that in there, and start making some armor, because otherwise we're going to get absolutely pulverized by this dude over here. Or we can attack him, I guess, as well. So let's stay here, kind of look around the corner. Um, I don't really have... Right, let's get some wood and... Um, let's get some stone. Oh my god, I'm panicking already, just because that guy's there. It's all because that guy. Because after this episode, we go PvP, we go straight up PvP. And if I don't last long, then I'm going to look very terrible. Five minutes! Oh god, hopefully my iron stuff does melt in time. Uh, let's just block this up quickly. And go up here. Um, I can't see any mobs just yet. Where are the mobs? Oh, I need to block this up, definitely. So it's kind of more in a way of you just kind of protect yourself against the elements. So as you can see, I am just blocking up everything so that nothing spawns here. 
And yeah, you just have to protect yourself against everything. I need to check my furnace. He can't be stealing my stuff. If he's stealing my stuff, I'll go mad. I'll go absolutely mad. Right. I've got some iron. I can make an iron sword, which I'm going to do. I don't like leaving my stuff out here. But while I'm using it, I might as well make an iron sword. And then keep an eye on this guy. He's kind of going down. I think we might be okay to just carry on this. Right, let's put some... Four minutes. Oh, I'm just making it worse. Right, at least I've got a bridge across now. Oh, I need this iron to smelt a bit quicker. Please. Alright, let's pick this up. There's so much iron here. I am doing okay on the iron front. I just need to be able to smelt it all. If I can't smelt it all, then I am done. I might kill that... I don't know whether to take on that guy or not, because I don't know what he's going to have. Whether he has really good stuff, like he's fine, he might have found iron like me, or he might have just not. <laughs> it's simple. It's simple. Right, we've got enough to make a chest plate, and I've got enough to throw in there. I can't remember the amount you need for, like, full iron armor. So let's put this down here like that. And pretty much the only way to regen, if I didn't say it before, is golden apples or regen potions. Or, um, as they said earlier, a head will drop if you kill someone. Which means that uh, you will be able to put gold around it and be able to um, eat it like a golden apple. Which is kind of freaky thinking about it. But yeah, that works. So where is this guy going to be? Where is he? Where is he? Right, I need to organize this. I can also make an iron pick. But I think I need to make as much as I can out of, you know, out of... Uh, armor. I'm, I'm kind of thinking at the same time. I think he's digging down, which I, I kind of want to do, but I haven't got enough um... I haven't got enough torches to kind of work that way, so one second. One second. Let's just get this sorted out. I need... I need a helmet. One, two, three, four, five and then I need leggings, which requires six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve more and I should be good. So five... Yeah, I'm going to be able to make all of this and an iron pick, which is awesome. I'm just kind of waiting around because I'll be in a good standing, I think, to be able to take that guy down. But is it going to take more than two minutes? Probably, and that will suck hard. Let's check on anyone else. We've got one guy on six. Lots of people on 9.5 and stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> it's getting it's getting pretty serious already. I'm, I'm scared. I, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I thought I made two sets of leggings there. That would have been embarrassing, right? Really embarrassing. But is that guy still around? He's still kind of down there. So I could go and find him, or I could just carry on minding my own business until he finds me. I can't see any more name tags around. Which is a good thing, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm fine with that. I just need two more iron, and I'm good. I need one more iron, and I can be, I'll be able to make a uh, iron pick as well. But I'm not desperate for that, just yet. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. This is pretty nerve-wracking. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's put one more and I can make a helmet. Yes, right. I am feeling better about myself now I have this. Full iron already. And I've got one minute until PvP. Is he gonna come after me though? That's the question. That is the question. If he comes after me, I'm not gonna enjoy my chances. But I do have full iron and that is pretty damn sweet. So let's take this. Wait for this, and now I kind of need... I don't know what I need to do now. I need to find some coal, that's what I need. I don't know whether to... I'm not going to make it over to that guy. He doesn't like he's going to bother me, which is good. So let's see if we can see what's going to be in here. Because I know there is a cave behind there, so... Let's just have a quick look. Is there anything that's going to help me, or is it just all crap? There is... Are there any mobs? I don't know. I'm scared. I think that's the top. PvP will be enabled any second now. More iron, if that's what we really need. Oh my god, 20 minutes have passed, which means this is the first episode up, guys. And you'll join me in a second back for the second episode. Will we survive? Have a look next time. Thanks for watching.
Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and a welcome to UHC Season 3, Minecraft Ultra Hardcore, the game mode originally created by Good and the group Minecraft. As always, we have some of your favorites returning this season and a bunch of new participants as well. We have a total of 24 competitors and we are returning to solo with an added twist of perpetual day for the entire match. These UHC events are recorded all in one sitting, so don't worry about oh. cheating by telling your favorite YouTuber what other people are up to in an episode. <laughs> we are using a custom plugin coded just for this event by the team at Mindplex and Grazer. We'll tell you a little bit about it, and we'll get started. All right, so first I'm going to go over how UHC works. UHC is a game mode where your health does not regenerate naturally. The only way to regenerate health is by eating a golden apple and or by drinking a health potion, which can be obtained through travel to the nether. All players will be spawned 200 blocks away from each other, and the last remaining player is deemed the victor. Mineplex is back at it again. They'll be hosting the server for UHC Season 3. You can play the games at mineplex.com. We've also ironed out some of the bugs that were faced last season in order to guarantee a nice, smooth playing experience for everyone. As there are 24 players rolling solo, that means there are 24 different spawns across the map. We've enlarged it to 2,500 by 2,500 instead of the normal 2,000 by 2,000. And because it is perpetual day, caves will be of enhanced difficulty as all mob spawns will be occupied underground throughout the duration of the season. Rules! PvP will, dis be, dis bleh, PvP will be disabled <laughs> for the first 20 minutes. There will not be strip mining tolerated, no enhanced gamma, no mods are permitted other than Optifine. And if you die, you must leave the server after saying goodbye to your viewers and good game to the remaining participants. Oh, one thing I forgot. If you kill someone, you will receive a head. This golden head will reheal four hearts in, rather than two that a normal apple would do. And we've nerfed it since last season so that you only get two absorption hearts rather than four. And I think that's everything, right, I think? That's it. 